So rapper 21 Savage found himself in some hot water just last month when he stated that rapper Nas is irrelevant. He's not relevant. He just has a loyal right ass back fan base. He just has a loyal fan base. 21 Savage statements had the hip hop community in a frenzy. This included rapper Kodak Black. Man, let me Nas that nigga, homie. I know why I can't. I know why I can't be you. And I want to be you. And I want to be you. How that is? If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. You crazy, boy. The fuck Nas that boy? Nas invested in. Nas invested in motherfucking um, ring. You know what ring is, homie? The dope. Alone. Comedian and actor Michael Rappaport also chimed in and weighed in heavy on 21 Savage. It, co it shows in your work, 21 Savage. And I'm glad you're making money. I'm glad you're able to take care of everybody. But it's so disrespectful. Only in hip hop do people do that. Do they degrade? Do they shit on? It's How dare you to say that Nas isn't relevant? And we see why you would think. Nas isn't relevant, 21 Savage, because when we listen to your music, it shows that you're not a big Nas fan. And I hear it in your work. You're like Cat in the Hat. That's the kind of rapper you are. Cat in the Hat, jumped over the bat, and then he flipped and he flapped. Yappity yap. 21 Savage clearly was feeling all the heat that he was receiving because he decided to dial it back when he tweeted out, I will never disrespect Nas or any legend who paved the way for me. Y'all be trying to take stuff and run with it. Rapper Nas was a part of so many monumental moments in hip hop. He is definitely a part of history and a lot of people label him as a legend. They look up to him and he has that respect level and status amongst the masses. Nas is not just some rapper. He's a whole lyricist. Big difference. And he definitely made his mark in the hip hop community. So when you speak about him musically, you definitely got to add some respect to it. Well, now it looks like 21 Savage either decided to right his wrongs or they already had this brewing. It was a part of the marketing plan because they turned around and came out with a joint collaboration. Either way it goes, it was definitely a power move in that moment. This led to hip hop artist Corey LeRae to tweet out, y'all see what Nas did? Now that's how the F you do it. Love always wins. Why downplay the next artist when you can uplift them and come together solid? So there's been an ongoing rumor that rapper Lotto has been dating rapper 21 Savage. Now this rumors all started back in 2020 at the end of that year when photos surfaced online of Lotto and rapper 21 Savage seemingly being in the same location out of the country. Now there was nothing else that led to people to believe that they were dating, but people have believed that rumor from that moment and on till today. Now, rapper Lotto expressed that she's in a relationship. She claims that she is all about her man, her man, her man, but she has yet to reveal who this man is, although the two have denied dating each other. People still believe them to be dating. Well, rapper 21 Savage just recently spoke out about this and claimed that he's not dating any celebrity woman. I don't do all the antics and shit. I don't got a celebrity girlfriend. I'm not finna be out everywhere. I'm not dropping music every other week. I'm not going on live talking about every other week. It was three years ago that news broke that 21 Savage actually was a British citizen and he was detained by immigration because of that. Now this led it to become a running joke online. So that joke is continued to run as 21 Savage announced that he does not have a celebrity girlfriend. Now sidebar, it is also rumored that 21 Savage is currently married or separated of some sort. He has not got divorced, okay? So people are running with that joke as well, claiming that immigration called 21 Savage, which caused him to deny Lotto. At this point, Lotto and 21 Savage don't want us in their business or they actually aren't together. So we're just going to take it for what it is at this moment.